Products featured in today's video were provided by Arcade 1UP for the purposes of this review. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be taking a look at another of the Arcade 1UP cabinets. The folks over at Arcade 1UP were kind enough to send along one of their upcoming exclusive units. This particular one is on pre order right now, and I got a chance to open it up, unbox it, put it together, and play with it before its release. So today we're going to be checking out the Burger Time cabinet featuring several games from the Data East library. So this is my third Arcade 1UP unit. I've purchased the Rampage unit and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unit in the past. I've had a lot of fun with both of them. In fact, I already did a video on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unit if you haven't already checked that out. So I was really excited to dive in and get a good look at this upcoming system here. Now, if you guys have never had one of these and never put one together before, let me tell you that it is really easy to assemble these. There's an included sheet of instructions that easily guides you through the process of doing so. And the only thing you really need to assemble these is a screwdriver. You don't need any other tools or anything like that. Now, the instructions do say not to use power tools. Uh, because you might break the wood that's in there. Uh, I would suggest that if you do use power tools, just be careful not to overly tighten the screws. Uh, otherwise, you shouldn't have any problems getting this put together. A few tips that I have figured out uh, while putting together these, since this was my third one, I kind of knew what to expect. Um, when you are putting the unit together, there is a protective film on the screen and on the controller unit. Take those protective screens, the films, off of both of those before you start assembling them into the cabinet. Reason is, is once you get those in there and you've put things together, it's going to be very hard to peel that off. And in some cases, you'll have built things around it. So definitely peel that off before you assemble it. Another thing that you're going to want to do before you attach the back to the unit Go ahead and plug it in and turn on the power switch and make sure everything boots up. One thing I've noticed along the way while building these different units is there's an on off switch on the back of the monitor inside the cabinet. Now on my burger time machine, that was already flipped to the on position, so not a problem. But I remember when I built my Ninja Turtles cabinet, uh, I put the whole thing together, I plugged it in, I turned on the power switch and nothing happened. So I had to take it back apart and I realized that that little switch on the back of the monitor was in the off position. So double check all of that before you seal on the back of the cabinet. It's not hard to take it back apart if you need to, but this will just save you a little bit of a headache. So those are my tips for getting it all assembled. Uh, it took me probably around an hour or less to get the entire thing done by myself. Uh, this particular unit also comes with the stand to boost it up, which is really nice because it makes it so that you can stand at the machine and play it. Uh, without that, it is rather short. I think only around four feet tall or so. Um, so in order to play it, you'll have to probably pull a chair up to it to play it. Uh, I've got the Rampage machine that doesn't have a stand, so you can see what that kind of looks like to give you a idea of the heights. But when it's boosted up on the stand, I have no problem standing in front of the machine and playing it. These are of course scaled, so they're not exactly the same size as a real arcade machine that you would find in the arcades, but I have found that uh, it's real easy to play these. It's comfortable uh, for one to two players on this machine specifically. I had no problems playing this with multiple people and I, I think it's a lot of fun. So now we're gonna kind of go through the menus and some of the games that are on there. Uh, but before we do that, we should probably talk about the overall design of the unit itself. This particular machine is modeled after the actual Burger Time cabinet. And the thing that makes that so cool is that the side of the machine is very unique in that it's got that great shape with the graphic of Pepper Pete right there on the side of the machine. It is very, very cool looking. And of course, all of the graphics seen on the controller pad as well as around the screen also come straight from the original Burger Time arcade cabinet. In fact, recently I visited the Galloping Ghost Arcade, one of my favorite places to go. And I went ahead and got some footage of the actual Burger Time cabinet. You can't really see the sides of the machine very well, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the original machine looked like 
compared to the arcade one-up machine. It's pretty cool stuff. One of the big differences is you'll notice the controller layout. Now the reason that the controller pad is laid out the way it is on the arcade one-up machine is because it's got to be able to play all four games that are on there. The original Burger Time arcade cabinet only has the one joystick right in the middle and one button for throwing your pepper. You'll notice that when you look at this, there are four joysticks and four buttons, as well as your start button uh, and your one player, two player buttons there. So there's a lot more buttons, but that is so that you can play all the different games. And uh, we're gonna talk about that as we're going through each of the games here. So one of the things I wanna talk about with this unit right here at the beginning is something I found so, so very cool. This Burger Time Machine features a light up marquee. You see, I've got two of those machines, as I mentioned before, Rampage and Ninja Turtles, and neither one of those have a lighted marquee. So when I got this thing all hooked up and put together and I plugged it in, oh my gosh, I just loved seeing that marquee light up at the top of the unit. I really wish this is something that they had done from the beginning, because man, do I wish my Ninja Turtles cabinet had a lighted marquee on it like this Burger Time one. It looks fantastic. And I really hope this is something that Arcade 1UP is gonna continue doing on all of their machines going forward. So of course, we gotta start off with Burger Time since that is the signature game for this particular cabinet. So Burger Time plays on that vertical screen, just like an old school classic arcade game. So you'll notice that uh, it does have that vertical screen. Screen is awesome on the arcade one-ups. If you've not seen them before, it's bright, LED screen, it glows so bright, the colors are crisp and beautiful. It's a really, really great looking game. Uh, and the game plays fantastic. Uh, if you're somebody who is used to the arcade cabinet, I don't know if it's gonna throw you off not having the joystick right in the middle, uh, cause you do have to play this game with the joystick to the left. Um, so you are gonna be over there, but I don't have any problems playing it that way. Uh, the game seems to play just fine. One thing I noticed with this game is that it's uh, very tricky to move each direction with it. Um, when you're trying to climb up the ladder, down the ladder, left and right, it's a very frantic game because you're running away from the food items that are chasing you. But uh, it seems sticky sometimes, like he doesn't necessarily always go the direction that you think you're pushing him. And I didn't know at first if that was a result of the arcade one up, but after playing the game in the actual arcade, over at the Galloping Ghost, it played exactly the same way. So it seems like they captured the gameplay perfectly from that game. I think that's just kind of the way the game plays and it definitely adds a challenge to it. But still a very fun game, really great classic old school arcade game that seems to play very well on this machine. So one of the other games on this unit is Karate Champ. This is another old school Daddy East arcade game, uh, also in that same vertical layout with the screen. Uh, this is a lot of fun. And this one is why you need the two joysticks. So when you look at the uh, controller layout there and you see the four joysticks, it almost looks like this is a four player unit, but it's not. None of the games on here are for four players. Uh, when we looked at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinet, it was for four players. So it had all that extra space coming off the sides of the unit to accommodate all four controllers. This one does not, but that's because, like I said, it's not for four players. With Karate Champ, you have to use two controllers. There's no button use in this game. So one of those controllers kind of moves your character side to side. The other one is how you do your punches and your kicks. And you kind of move those controllers around in different uh, choreographs, different functions there to pull off different kicks and punches. Uh, this is a lot of fun. And in fact, again, I can show you what the original arcade unit looks like with the joystick layout compared to the arcade one-up machine. It works 
really well on this unit. This game, of course, is perfect to play against the computer, or if you want to do two players on here. Uh, I had a lot of fun figuring this out. This is one that I think I've only played briefly in the arcades in the past, but I have been having so much fun playing this here on this home unit. Uh, I was kind of surprised that I feel like this is the game I've played the most on the unit so far, so far because I'm having so much fun just figuring out all the different punches and kicks. Uh, it works really, really well. So the other two games on here are some classic Data East beat em up games. And this is awesome because I love beat em up games and I know a lot of people are fans of this. So this is gonna be great if you wanna get some two player beat em up action. The first one we're gonna talk about is Caveman Ninja. Now, if you had a Super Nintendo growing up, you might remember this game as Joe and Mac. Same game, but this is the arcade original. It's a really, really fun two player game where you are a caveman walking through this very cartoony landscape fighting other cavemen and dinosaurs. There's big giant dinosaur bosses in the game that is a lot of fun to fight. There's power ups along the way. This game plays really well. And again, it is so much fun to do two player game with this. Uh, now, since it's an arcade game, one of the downfalls of the game itself is it's one of those games where if you're not constantly collecting energy, you can actually just die of starvation along the way. It's one of those old school things where they wanted you to keep pumping quarters in the machine. But hey, luckily, since it's an arcade one up, there's no quarters required. You can just keep continuing and you're gonna wanna do it because this is a really fun game to play all the way through. <laughs> And then that brings us to bad dudes. That's right, my friends. Are you a bad enough dude to save President Ronnie? It's one of my favorite video game intros, as well as one of my favorite video game endings. I mean, spoiler alert, but come on, if you guys know retro games, you know just how amazing the ending of this game is. But still, this is a really fun two-player beat-em-up Great by yourself, great with two players. Uh, there's a, you know, it's kind of got that comedy worked in with it there too. I mean, your President Ronald Reagan is who you're trying to save, and he calls you dudes, and it's it's hilarious. Every time you beat a level, you shout, "I'm bad." It is a lot of fun, and again, another great reason to have a two-player uh, option here because you can buddy up with, with friends or with your wife or with my son, which is what I like to do. Uh, he and I love playing these games together. So it's a really great game selection. Overall, I was really happy with all the games that are included in this particular unit. You get two classic arcade games like that with Burger Time and Karate Champ. You get two great beat-em-up arcade games in there. <laughs> So another thing worth mentioning with the games, since Burger Time and Karate Champ are in that classic arcade vertical screen style, when you play Bad Dudes and Caveman Ninja, it actually shrinks the screen down to the more normal like horizontal screens. Uh, so that does kind of take up a little less space within the screen, making the overall screen for those two games a bit smaller than when compared to things like my Rampage machine or my Ninja Turtles machine. Uh, not anything that distracted me, doesn't bother me at all. Definitely worth noting though, since you've got two games on here that are vertical and two games on here that are horizontal, that's how they manage that and it works out just fine. 
So all in all, I love the selection of games on here. I think there's four really good Data East arcade games on here. Great variety on here with some classic arcade action, some great beat-em-up action, uh, a very cool style fighting game. It's a lot of fun. So if you're a fan of the old Data East games, you like the unique look of this particular cabinet, I would definitely recommend checking this out. I've personally really enjoyed the arcade one-up machines so far. And I know they're kind of the thing where it's always hard to decide if you want to take up the space in your home for something like that. But if you enjoy getting like these true arcade ports of some of these classic video games, I really don't think you can beat these. I think they are a lot of fun. So as I mentioned, the Burger Time Machine is currently available for pre-order. This is exclusive to the Arcade One Up website, so I'll make sure I link that in the video description. This particular unit runs $399.99, and it does include the riser, which is also decoed with the Burger Time logos and everything. So if you want to pick this one up, it is limited quantities, uh, and it's only available on their website. So once again, a very special thanks to the folks at Arcade One Up for sending this along, allowing me to get it out of the box and show you guys what it's all about. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.